Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if you're getting an error message saying that the DLL files are missing from your Windows machine. Now, you might get uh, different types of uh, DLL files which are missing on the computer. However, the steps what I'm going to suggest is applicable for uh, different DLL files and also for the different version of Windows starting from uh, Windows 11 which is being current um, either to the previous version or maybe if you have a newer version of Windows um, on your computer with, uh, in future you can also try this step now let's without any delays let's get started now the first thing uh, the DLL files are nothing but the dynamic link library files which are uh, very much required to run a program now if in case if these files are missing or if these files are corrupted that's when you start getting this error message now there are a couple of steps which you can try to fix a problem now the first and foremost step what I would suggest you to try is um, to check what DLL um, error message you're getting and um, immediately the first thing what you what I would suggest you is to run an SFC scan on your computer basically what this will do is it, it is an inbuilt Windows tool which will try to run a scan and try to repair the DLL files by itself uh, using the command. In order to do that, what you will have to do is you will have to open the command prompt on your computer. So either you can go to search and type CMD or you can type command prompt. type CMD or command prompt. Uh, as soon as you see it on the list, you can click on this run as administrator so in case if you get in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue on the screen now once you have the command prompt in elevated mode uh, which is run as administrator mode um, this is how it would display uh, see windows system 32 now here you will have to go ahead and uh, run the command which says sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter now what this will do is this will go ahead and try to run a scan uh, of your computer and check if there are any um, DLL files which are corrupted in case if there are any uh, DLL files are which are corrupted it will try to rep uh, repair by itself and um, that should basically fix a problem now there are different stages to complete the scan wait for all the stages to complete uh, it would take about 15 minutes to complete the whole scan once this has been done, you will have to go ahead and restart the computer and try to launch the application where you were getting the error message and see if you're getting this message. Uh, usually you should not be getting this message. Now, uh, restarting the computer is a must after running the scan. Now, in case, um, in case if the issue has been not resolved even after trying this step, the next step, what I would suggest you is to run the uh, DISM tool. Uh, so for that, what you will have to do is, uh, again, you will have to wait, make sure that uh, this command is completed and restart the computer. Once that is done, you will have to go back to the search window and uh, you will have to go ahead and type command. And uh, here, run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue. Once you have the command prompt open in the elevated mode, you will have to go ahead and type um, the command DISM, which is DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health i will also paste this command in the um, in the command in the video description you can also copy the command and paste it here so once you run the command you will have to uh, wait till the command um, the uh, this is uh, the repair is completed you will have to restart the computer while restarting the computer you might see the command which has been running in the background you will have to wait until then once it is done reboot your computer again and see if uh, you are still getting the dll error message now in spite of trying all this step if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is um, i would suggest you to go ahead and re uh, repair the software so basically in case if you're getting the error message uh, for uh, your 
graphics driver or if you are getting this error message for any of a word or microsoft office uh, what i would suggest you to do is to go ahead and repair the um, software and uninstall and reinstall the software and see if that works in case um, that should fix your problem now in spite of trying all this step um, what you, uh, if you're still facing a problem then i would suggest you to go ahead and repair your windows and um, and once you repair your windows you should not be getting this error message i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day